Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation of Okay. One of uh Cloak's rooms that we've created work together. That's Cloak way up there. You can see his badassery. This is a teleporter. This is not the important thing. As you can see it says one way only. And it teleports to his base. Let us go through. Alright, now you see that we're in a room full of bedrock. And then there's a door. This will all be filled. This this will be filled in with more stuff, probably. Or this will stay like this. But anyways, this is the room. You cannot get out unless all three lights are on. The first light over here is the acceptance light. There is a lever outside which someone has to pull down to activate this light. If no one is out there pulling that lever down, the light will not be on, and you will never be able to escape. The second lights, the first, the third, and second light, these two lights, are activated by the gold PC, you can tell because of the gold, and the diamond PC, you can tell by the diamond. You put the password in, and it will correct it in this thing, which is on ticket, if you did not see that. Um, I'm going to explain basics of computer craft, which is very basic. And then I'll show you some basic wirings behind all this. It's just to help those that do not know. Please enter password. I'm going to enter the password so you first see what happens. Password accepted, and the light turns on. That is what happens when the password is inputted correctly. And over here, we shall terminate the, pro the uh, project and then go to Edit Startup. Here you will see everything you will have to type. And now I shall explain basically what all this is. If you already know what this is, then skip ahead a little. Um, if you don't know, then I'll explain. Well, while true do, what that means is once you start up, this is what's going to happen. It's going to term clear, which is going to clear everything on the screen. It's going to set the cursor position to exactly there. Um, it's going to print please enter password which is just it putting on the screen please enter password um, input whenever you type on the screen it will come as asterisks or stars um, if the input that you typed in equals the password which is what on this one then it will say print password accepted it will say password accepted then it will send a signal or an output from redstone to the thing behind it. That will last for 45 seconds, you can tell by sleep, and then it will turn off after those 45 seconds. Then the whole thing terminates and ends. There you go. That is what that basically means. Now we can exit this. Every time you exit, make sure to reboot. Die. And then you enter the password. We know it as what? It's all capital is sen sensitive. Cap sensitive. See, now no one will be able to escape ever unless they know the password. There you go. See? Doors opened. We're free! Oh my god! Ah. Here's that lever I was talking about. Up means deny. You deny people access. See, now the doors will close because we don't want people in. We allow people access. Doors will open, so on and so forth. Over here is the back wirings created by Cloak. These are red alloy wires. They connect to a AND gate. These connect to a satellite dish thingy, frequency gate, which connects to the back way over there, over here, sorry, now over there, over here. And I probably put the volume too loud, so let me check that. Yeah. God damn it. Oh well. Sorry about that, guys. It connects to over here. And then that will connect to this. And that will just open this back and forth. Now we go here. This is and. Uh. The and and the not gate. The not gate. When the and gate has all these lights connected, it will turn off the not gate, and these will shut off each of these, thus opening the pistons, or closing the pistons. These are um, timer-like things, 
I already forgot what they're called. God darn it. Oh well. They will time the amount of time it takes for them to close. So this will close first, then this will close, and then that will close. Very simple. I did not create this. Cloak did, as I have said. All this is obsidian to make it look nice and neat, and also to make sure the wires do not cross. So all of this is really good. And that is this. That is the basics of this room. Anyone comes in to our fort in the middle of the ocean, then they have to go through the teleporter. They try to go through anything else, they will be blocked off. To get into the teleporter, they need the passwords. Very simple. Um, I basically did this, like I said, to show beginners how to do this. Because we couldn't figure out how to do this that well until we did it. So there you go. That is how you make a bunker base teleportation room. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. I, yeah, I hope you did something with this. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and goodbye.